What's going on guys? Big Time on 10 here. And today we're going to be checking out a ROM called AOS SIP. Now this ROM I've used it before on the OnePlus 6T, but today we're going to be checking it out on the OnePlus 7 Pro. So without further ado, let's get into the ROM. As you can see, the fingerprint reading works great. No problems, no flashes whatsoever. We do have the Google Now feed on the left and that's a good thing. I like that. The ROM is really nice and fluid. No issues with you know, lagging or the phone getting warm at all. It's really, really good. If we go to the display here, we can see that 90 frames per second and 90 Hertz are working great here. No issues with that. Moving on to the camera, as you can see, I installed the Google camera and it doesn't work. So you could use pre-installed camera, but quality is not what I like. So maybe look for the G cam and install that instead. But other than that, camera works. If we go to network and internet, we get our normal settings here. We do have the voice over LTE. We do have Wi-Fi calling and everything else that a ROM should have. It's also here. We also have Bluetooth. Everything's working fine. No issue whatsoever. If we move to a uh, display here, we do have all these options. You have the tap to wake, your pocket detection, your font size, you know, the usual. Moving on to themes here, we could change our style, our clock, our wallpapers, everything that you might want to customize. It's in here. If we go to sound here, we could set all our ringtones, notification sounds, and everything. If we go to privacy here, we could see what apps are currently using what. And you know, you could just revoke some of those permissions. Under security, we have everything except face unlock. So if you're looking towards face unlock, well, it's not here. If we go to the OnePlus setting here, we do have our DC dimming, high brightness mode, Panel modes, we got all these options here. You do have the refresh rate. You could choose whether you want 60 or 90. And we also have the touchscreen gestures. So you can customize your device however you like. And here guys, we do have the strength for the vibrator. But one thing to note is that the stronger you go, it makes a nasty rattling sound. So adjust accordingly. All right, if we go to the IELTS desk, this is where we go to see everything that we want to customize. So under battery, we do have all these options here. You can choose from battery style from the circle, circuit dotted, circle field, or just text or the icon portrait. You decide. You could even have your battery percentage show or just hide it all together. If we go to clock and date here, we can choose where we want our clock. You know how I like it in the middle. So I put mine there, turn on the date, put it next to the time. So it could look kind of nice and neat. And uh, you could choose wherever you want to set the date, which is left or right. Also, if we go to system icons here, you can turn off what icons you don't want to see on the status bar. And under chronic logo, we just have these options. So if you like those options, how about it? But me, I'm gonna turn it off. If we go to voice over LTE icon, these options we have. If we go to quick settings, here are all the options that you could mess with, like the brightness lighter, whether you want on the top or the bottom, uh, whether you wanna have a brightness icon, do we want them to vibrate on touch? You want to make the layout different, bigger, smaller. Here is the place to do all that. We go to system navigation here. We do get all three options. So choose whatever you guys like. And also the sensitivity, you can mess with it here. And you could also hide the pill. So if you don't want the little pill on the bottom, when you have full screen navigation, that's where you would go to hide it. You do get long swipe options here. 
And if we go to the power menu, this is where you would turn on some of those settings. I got advanced. So as you can see, I can go straight to the recovery bootloader or just a system UI restart. We go to volume panel. Here are the options. Moving on to lock screen. We do get all these options for like the charging, animation, battery info. Uh, you could choose whether you want to blur your media cover art. And under gestures, we do have all these options here. So what I think about the ROM? Well, here's a few things, guys. Number one, the ROM has great performance, has decent battery life. Phone calls were okay. Some people complained. Some people didn't complain. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, everything seems to be working. But for me, I would like to see the developer more involved in the forum thread, updating the ROM constantly. And I don't see that. I didn't even know they had updated it if it wasn't for one of the subscribers that mentioned to me. But guys, if you like the ROM, if you're a fan of it, go ahead and download it. And if you don't know about the ROM, there's better choices out there for you. Guys, thank you for all the subscribers. Thank you for all the likes. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.